Hey guys, this is Chase, and in this video today we're going to be looking at an Xbox One S uh, console. Uh, the customer ended up sending two consoles, and uh, they both need HDMI ports uh, put into them. microscope. Let's get my uh, fume extractor fan going here. Let's get those just add a little bit of that solder there. Get those to um, want to flow a little bit easier. Mix the old solder with the new. And we hit that it with the hot air. All right, works for me. The reason I put this capped on tape right here. Is specifically for these HDMI ports. Let's put some flux here on this port. I always like to heat it up from the other side of the board. It is uh, you got a lot of sensitive components up at the top. There it is. That's all. Nice and gentle. Um, let's see here. Get the heat under here for just a moment because we're going to suck out these holes with this. Um, there we go. And that is done. Let's get back over here. Make sure port is. There we go. Put it over these pads. And take some solder braid. Clean off all that old um, lead free solder. And then I'm going to flow some, uh, some nice leaded solder here onto these pads. See if I can get it to wick out. Wow, it actually worked. Yeah, wow, that never happens. All right then, that's actually some decent flux then in this uh, solder bay here. Huh, all right then. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and put this new port in. Put some flux down here. Try to get it on the actual pins here. Just let it sort of flow on there. And that's fine, we got a bunch of extra. It's not a big deal. We'll flow it on the, all these pins here. Which you're gonna need. Um, you're definitely gonna want to put flux there. Flow all those joints together. Okay, so hopefully this will help me out a lot. This flux is a little bit older.
All right. I'm gonna check the underside of these pins and make sure that they are there are no shorts at the ends because that's very common. You'd find uh, that the pins will have shorts or like a solder blob bridging over bridges, not shorts bridges. Actually, it looks really good. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. 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 Yeah, that's good. 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 And good. Here. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol here. A little bit, my, and I totally mean a lot. Take a toothbrush and just gently, this is just a soft bristle toothbrush to just agitate that old flux with the alcohol there and just let it clean. And then uh, take a little bit of that. You can use the toilet paper or a Q-tip, depending on, you just wanna do that or that, and either way is fine. Not a big deal, either way. Just touch it up one more time. Should be good to go. Yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, looks pretty solid. Let's see. Yeah. Looks solid. Good repair. Alright, awesome. We are going to go ahead and do these anchors now. Just real brief. Just take a little bit of flux here. And the flux I'm using is an Amtec uh, 213. And it seems to actually work really well. I mean, I haven't had real any issues with it. Just mine's a little bit older. Uh, apparently has an expiration date of January 20th. So, I mean, yeah, it technically expired. So, <laughs> I guess it is what it is. But I'm going to actually use this, uh, this other tip here. And flow some solder here to the joint. That anchor here. works for me. All right. Let's get some solder in there. Yeah, that works. All right. All right. And the job is done. Just got to clean it up real fast. A agitator with a brush. A little bit more here. With the toilet paper. There we go. Job is done. Looks good. You know, not bad at all. All right, we're gonna give this a try and see if it works. Hopefully, we'll see it be up here. Awesome, perfect. So our repair is successful. A lot of times I like to touch the HDMI cable. We had to move around a little bit just to see if there were any breaks in the connections, but we already established that the uh, legs on the connector were solid anyway, so we shouldn't have any problems. So yeah, this is the Xbox One S HDMI repair video I've been wanting to make. And if you guys need a repair, you can send me an email or somehow comment on the video and try to get my attention somehow and you guys can ship me your console and I can repair it and ship it back to you and uh, however you guys want to go about that. So if you guys enjoy, uh, thank you for tuning in and watching the video. You guys can leave a comment, like, and hit that subscribe button if you guys thought this was interesting and you guys have an awesome day.